Uh, this is from the gun. Yeah, so five is already out. That was the, the athlete from Qatar was disqualified for the uh, false start. So let's take a look here. Uh, and the athlete in lane four, Russell from Bahamas, was all over the place. So we knew that there was an opportunity for him to be disqualified. So far, everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. What we're looking for is right as they come off of this bin, you'll see the cones, the pylons up. This is actually coming home. So he's actually brought Russell right there. That, I think that was his second infraction. Um, already haven't been on the lane. You can see he's just all over the track. But let's look on the outside from Braylon Taplin from Grenada, who comes in with the fastest time in the world this year. He's out for some reason. On this spin, we see Russell was again on the line there. But Taplin, we still haven't seen anything yet. On, athlete on the far outside. Lane two. Inside athlete lane two is on the line. That's, uh, but Taplin, we still haven't seen anything, and that's the big name that's out. We would like to see yeah, he's where out of he had an there. infraction. So here in the first, this is coming off the first bin. That, that wasn't, I didn't see anything there. He got close, but I didn't see anything there that would amount to an infraction. Now, they will be able to appeal. All of these athletes in their countries will be able to appeal. So we may see some of them come back. Russell, I, I certainly would not expect to come back. I mean, it's not that the... the the highest or the steepest banks that are in, on any indoor track that I've seen, but it is pretty steep here. But still, holding that discipline is is, is hard. I'm not sure why they um, they found that so difficult. Yeah, the, the the steeper the track, the more difficult it is to stay up there, and especially when you're coming off that first bend with speed, and you have to come around the pylon and make sure that you don't cross before. Um, but but I just didn't see anything from Taplin there, so I would expect certainly expect an appeal from them. From we did them. lose him for a, a few meters at the very top of the shot. Maybe that's where, it, and we'll try and get a different angle to have a look at. I'm sure his team will be taking a look at every angle that they can. But you would think that they wouldn't have been disqualified if there had been some clear evidence there. Yeah, normally they're, they're, there's a clear shot. I think the, the, the Brits were amazing at finding these perfect moments in the relays. I remember over the years we'd always get people disqualified because we'd find that that just that one frame where somebody stepped out, but for, for us there, for the naked so eye, I didn't so see anything. You're saying that the Brits are, <laughs> with, with, with specifically, look, they had someone specifically in a position to look for infractions so they could upgrade the medal? I, I think I think every Brit was looking for, for those fractions, to be honest, because we were desperate for the medals. Um, but no, there, there's obviously somebody with, that, that is looking at it with, with as closely as possible to try and figure out the, these these frames where they do step out. But let's say there, we, I, for two of the athletes here, I didn't notice any infringement. We're, we're normally looking so microscopically out